When you're gonna live bait fish, you got to have something to keep your bait in. And I've got this extreme bait tank right here. Let me show y'all right here. See that? Extreme bait tank. Hello folks, welcome to Rocky Drake Outdoors. I'm Rocky Drake. Today I'm on Gunnersville Lake and we're gonna do some live bait fishing. But first I gotta catch my bait. And uh, a lot of times that's a lot harder than catching the fish itself. We gotta catch some bait. Maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> We're in 16 feet of water. And the water temperature is see, 77 degrees, so it's cooling down big time. We're going into fall right now. It's... Okay, let's watch this net. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if we got in here or not. Oh, Lord, look here, y'all. It's gonna be on today. Oh, that's some of the best bait I've caught. Mm, I'm all excited. It's gonna be on today, y'all, I'm telling you. Now where I'm gonna fish, it's community hole, everybody, everybody fishes here. So, this ain't no big secret place or nothing. I'm telling you right now it ain't. So, I'm gonna pull up here, but there's nobody here right now. We got the bait to do it. I believe we can catch a show enough. Big, large mouth or spotted bass right here, dude. Mm -hmm. These gizzards had now, they kind of slimy. <laughs> Just hooking them right up through both lips here. You know, I hadn't, uh, video right here several months brought a couple of friends here and they've caught some big fish under this bridge Whew, Lord of mercy. that's one I already got it y'all they come up and got in it before they went to the bottom yeah you got it now let's get in there he is if he can jump if he can jump oh oh god oh lord He put in drag. Come on, fishy. <laughs> I think we own something here, y'all. Oh, that's a nice bass. Dude, that might be a big spotted bass. No, it's slow as mine. He wanted that big man, I can tell you. He sure did want that big man. Ain't gonna tell how many gums in here. Nice fish. Trying to lose his noise on the bridge now, y'all. There he went. Now, if you're gonna fish with live bait, you got to have something to keep your bait in and keep it good and lively, because that's what them bass, they love something that's feisty, that tries to get away from them when they chase it. And uh, you gotta have a good bait tank to have them to do that. So I'm gonna show you about my bait tank here now. The one I've got, it's, it's a 12 gallon. I'm gonna show it to you here. Uh, I'm gonna take a top off here. Over here, they've got a filtration system. And these are socks. See, the water runs through these socks right here, and I'll show you later. Uh, how they filter the water. There's one there. One just got it, y'all. Okay, see him swimming with. Right, let's see what he is. There he is. Another big one. It's another big one, y'all. A good one, anyway. See, I moved around that current, coming around that column up there. I moved around on this side where I throw it up in. Oh, bigger fish than I think. I don't know, maybe not. I think he got around that column over and made him feel bigger. It's a good fish, y'all. Oh my gosh, big fish. No, he's bigger than I thought he was. <laughs> oh Lord mercy, <laughs> he's seen the boat. <laughs> we bigger than that other night. Oh, oh, he's pulling too. Oh Lord, I gotta get down here. Look at him pull dry. I'm gonna horse him up. I'll break this and I'll find careful. Oh, look at him pull. He won't get up on the boat. What these big ones will do every time. Here he's coming up now. Well, I just barely got him hooked. Just barely got him hooked. This bird got him hooked. Come here. Oh. There we go. 
That's some good in there, y'all. That's two good fish right here. That's a good, solid chunk of a fish right there. I'm telling you right now, dude. Yo. Look at that. Let's turn it loose right here. Yep. That's fast. Mm-hmm. Put the goozle down there now. Ooh, Lord. Go back there. There she went. <laughs> I love throwing this all night swim, baby. Sure do. We think it's nothing to make two. All this sock is is just a that's made out of some kind of felt. And uh, you just put them on there like it right there and they got a little a little string right there. See it just ties up. Just tie your little knot in there. See look at it right there. Now let me put this back down on here. See like I say that water is gonna come up through them socks filtrate. See how dingy looking that water looks right there? Well, you just wait later on. It won't be looking like it. It looked like drinking water almost once it gets filtrated over here. Big, I'm telling you, bait tank is a big deal when you live bait fishing. There he is. He's a big one too. Nice fish. Skinny fish. Big headed fish. Look at that pretty nice bass. Pretty nice gunner for large mouth bass. Well, sure would like to catch one about eight or nine pounds before we leave here. Heavy fish. Oh Lord, look at this one right here, y'all. I just seen him down on there. <laughs> he pulled and dragged. Oh, hey, I mean, he flat footed and pulled. There he is. It's a big fish here. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh Lord. Yeah, big, 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 big. Thick, heavy fish. Mm. Yep, that's a nice one. Turn this one loose. There we go. Down in there. All right, folks. Earlier today, I was showing you about the, the socks in this bait tank here. How it filtrates the water. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So, okay. All right. Now, you remember how pretty and white they was? See, look how dirty they are now, see. You know how dingy looking that water was? Look how clean it is now. Okay, what you do is you take these socks off. I'm getting ready to go home. Show you what's in here. This is where all the slime. <laughs> I don't like sticking my hand in there, really. Look at that, see, it catches all the scales. See right there? So what I usually do, that. see, ooh, ain't that nasty, yeah, it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, Nope. Wash them out right here real good. Side of the boat. Just don't lean out too far over the boat, you'll fall out. Look all them scales floating down in the water down there. See them? Shimmering down in there. Well, that's off in minutes today. So, anyway. So, that's what these socks do, see? Then, when I get home, what I'll do is I'll take a hose pipe, wash them out real good, and they'll be real pretty and white again next time I get ready to go. Yep, sure will. Hey, look here, look at that. Oh, Lord, look at all that scales. So that's what that bait, that's what a good bait tank will do for you right there. See, you, I mean, that's, that's what a good bait tank will do for you. See. 
when you buy your bait tank, you might want to get you an extra one of these and just go ahead and rig you up two uh, socks. That way, when you get ready to change them out, sometimes they get real dirty and, it, and they get real slimy, especially with gizzard shad, and they won't let it circulate the water through like supposed to, so you have to clean them out or put new ones on. Uh, so anyway, you might want to get you a couple of one of them, go ahead and get you rigged up, it's real quick, just take one off, put one on. I'm done for the day, folks. I'm tired. I'm real tired. Caught a lot of big fish today, we sure did. Folks, I appreciate y'all tuning in. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, I sure would appreciate it. That's about it. I'm tired. I'm going to the house. We'll see you next time.